Ladies and gentlemen, hello. Are you all ready? Oh, are you all ready? That's much better. I say, my name is Martin, and, and uh, in a moment I shall be introducing these two gentlemen here. But first, let me just tell you and the dog um, what's going to be uh, happening today. We'll start off with just a couple of brief speeches from Nigel Cox, who's the chairman of Town and Country, and Greg Clark, who's our local MP for Tunbridge Wells. And then we'll strike up the band, which is the Blocco Fogo Community Samba Band, who will lead us down to the flats for the main event of today, which is to not one of the blocks of flats down. Um, are you all looking forward to that? Because once we've knocked them down, then we can start building something much, much nicer. So without further ado, let me hand over to Nigel Cox, who is the chairman of Town and Country. Right. Thank you, Martin. And welcome, everybody. Today is really an important day. It marks a big milestone in the life of the Sherwood Estate and in the life of Town and Country. This project is extremely important to both. It's been three years in the making. Three years ago, Town and Country asked the local community what they liked about Sherwood and what they didn't like. And there were lots of things that the community liked about Sherwood, but there was one thing they didn't like, and that was the flats. At that time, the feedback was there were three important things for the community. They wanted the woods and the lake secured. They wanted local employment and they wanted something done with the flats. Uh, the last part wasn't that complimentary. The word bomb came into uh, play uh, rather a lot. So, working through the project, town and country did indeed secure the woods in, in, in partnership with the local authority, and those woods will eventually be passed on to a management company with Kent Highwood Partnership. Employment on the new project will be more than 20% local employed. And as to the flats, we know what's happening to them. The first phase we're looking at today, there'll be a very interesting uh, event in a few minutes down the road. And in that first phase, town and country will provide around 70 new homes. But in the further phases, two and three, the total will be a bit under 300 new homes of varying kinds, of a beautiful design, which you can see on the, uh, on the boards along here. Now, the community has helped shape this project. They were consulted at the beginning, they've been consulted all the way through, and as the project develops, they will continue to be consulted. And the input has been absolutely invaluable and so helpful to designing and bringing this project forward. So, that's all I want to say. We relied on the community. You are here, thrilled to see so many people here, and you will be here in the future. And that's all I'm going to say for the moment. I'm going to hand over to uh, Greg Clark, who's standing beside me, who will say a few more words. And then I think uh, Bob Heaper, the Chief Executive of Town & Country, will sweep it together. And I just wanted to pay tribute to all of the fantastic work that's gone into uh, making these designs possible. I think it's appropriate we're starting the proceedings here uh, at TM2, which uh, this fantastic community centre is very much a product of the hard work uh, of everyone here, the whole community in Sherwood. Uh, it's much loved. Uh, it's fitting also that the first uh, chairman of the trustees of TM2 was, of course, Kevin Lyons, the former county councillor, who put so much personal uh, effort and passion into getting this centre built, but into the whole of the regeneration uh, and improvement of Sherwood. And I know that uh, if he were here today, he would be very proud of what the community has achieved and what it's about to achieve. Uh, I think that everyone, the fact that everyone has contributed uh, to what should happen, to the design of it, bring back the, the woods into public use, uh, and the, uh, in particular, the, uh, the fact that we're going to have uh, much better housing as a result, but also more housing as a result, uh, I think is going to be a fantastic force for good uh, here in Sherwood. Uh, there isn't a place in the country, I think, that has the, the community spirit and the ability to get things done that Sherwood does. So it's a great pleasure and a great pride for me to be part of today's event. And I just want to uh, thank on behalf of the whole community, everyone that's given their time, their effort, uh, their attention and their 
uh, their real love of this community to make it as good uh, in the future uh, as it has been in the past and even better still so that the future generations of people uh, who live and shop and work in Sherwood uh, will actually benefit uh, from this fantastic vision uh, that the whole community has put together. where families can grow and where the community can be rebuilt. So it's going to be a good thing in the end. We've got to live with the, um, with the mess and everything, but in the end it's got to be better, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Um, I'm going to hand you on now to Bob Heapy. Bob is the Chief Executive of Town and Country Housing. Thank you, Martin. Good afternoon, all, and uh, thank you all for attending the demolition day here at Sherwood. It's been a very emotional day, but also the sign of things to come. Um, firstly, I'd like to thank Jenny Bates for doing the deed in the demolition derby. It was uh, fantastic to see that first building come down. I think Jenny's now officially on the payroll of Hills, so uh, <laughs> I think the check's in the post. The second um, thing I have to do is make a presentation. Now, the first brick that fell off of the first block to be dem demolished at Sherwood is with me, and I'd like to donate it to TN2 and give it to the safekeeping of Celia Towner, who's a great community <laughs> activist here. To come around, Celia. Yeah, Celia. Yeah. It is very heavy. There's the first brick. <laughs> underneath. underneath. That's it. Mind your toes. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'll take that. Are we okay with that? Thank you, Celia. Can you give that back to Martin? He can put it on his toes rather than you. Thank you very much. Thank can we just do a quick photo? Yep. Yep. And look at the camera there. That's it. Thank you. Okay. okay. All right. Bye. Thank you, Celia. Thank, Thank you very much. Bye. Thank you. Um, just a bit about the future and some, some thank yous. Uh, Town and Country Housing Group are investing something like 35 million in the Sherwood Estate over the next few years. And yes, a lot of that investment is going into the physical regeneration, the start of which we saw today. 
but as important is the community regeneration and how we want to build a successful and sustainable community here. And part of that is the opportunity and access to the jobs and training and employment, which the, uh, the Sherwood Regeneration Scheme will offer us. And we also want to utilise the community facilities, particularly the woods and the lake, and we'll be providing safe routes into the woods and the lakes for the community use. We're already thinking about phase two of the project. Uh, phase one started today, but we will start consultation very soon on phase two, and clearly we'd like just as much enthusiasm from all of you to help us plan and develop phase two. I want to welcome Hills to the project. Hills are our constructors, uh, very well uh, uh, very well place to do the job. They, they've got great experience in undertaking works like this. Uh, they went through a very rigorous selection process, and I'm sure Andy's going to nod at that point. Uh, but we're delighted that Hills are working with us and with the community to deliver Sherwood. Um, some thanks. Thanks for Tunbridge Wells Borough Council for their support, particularly through the uh, decanting arrangements and planning process, and particular thanks to the ward councillors who have been tireless in their efforts to get this project off the ground, and indeed our local MP, Greg Clark. Our architects, PRP, for designing a Sunnenstein scheme, which was delivered and driven by the community. The staff at TCHG for really buying into the project and supporting it all the way through. But moreover, for all you residents of Sherwood who have worked tirelessly to get this to this day, and hopefully we will deliver something that's appropriate and meets your aspirations. So at this point I'd like to hand over to Andy Hill of Hill Partnerships, who's going to say a few words. Andy. Delighted to be here today, and thank you first and foremost to uh, Town and Country for entrusting this to uh, us with this very, very important regeneration project. Um, I think you all know the details better than me, but we're building 63 homes here in the first place mixture of private for sale, um, affordable and some shared, shared ownership. And they're all going to be traditional build. As you see, they, hopefully the ones we build won't come down quite as easily <laughs> as the ones we saw come down. And um, thank you very much for, for Jenny for getting off to a great start. Um, we must be at least one day ahead of programme now. <laughs> Uh, now, as Bob said, regeneration is a lot more about just building some new homes. We're here to give um, employment opportunities, training, and also opportunities to small businesses in the area. So we'd like to hear from you, those who can offer services to us, and Chris, our project manager, somewhere around, um, with, and Lee, we'd be pleased to receive all your details. Um, this is very much about working in partnership. And the partnership isn't just ourselves and the client, the most important pe people in this particular partnership is you, the residents, because without your help and support, we can't do our jobs. So we're delighted to be um, working with you. Uh, we also need our supply chain, because they're absolutely key. And uh, we all need to pull together to make this uh, the success it deserves to be. And this is the first of, of many phases. Um, I think that's about it. There's plenty of hog roast left, we hope, and some bread rolls. Um, and I'd just like to say thank you all once again. Uh, looking forward to being back here in about 18 months' time, a little bit sooner, when we complete all phase one works, and in about two and a half years, when the whole regeneration is complete. So thank you. Getting the residents involved, designing a scheme, has been awe-inspiring, to be brutally honest. I thankfully had the, the pleasure of overseeing the design on the project. Working with PRP, the architects and our other consultants has been, been tremendous. They've uh, come with a level of enthusiasm that I've not seen uh, in working in projects of this size before. Uh, they've certainly come to the table, they've put a, a top quality team with us and they've worked tirelessly to try and make sure that the, the project resembles exactly what the community wanted. Hello, I'm Ed Joyce, I'm from Reds 10, I'm the project manager for the uh, Lakewood project. Uh, we're providing the apprenticeship on the project for the next five years, so we'll be doing outreach in the local area of Tunbridge Wells, uh, liaising with the job centre plus and also the local college, uh, looking to provide up to 20 apprenticeships throughout the five years. 
and just hopefully get some real good results from it. You know, there's, there's a lot, lot of work going on, so I think the local residents should really benefit from it. It's quite exciting, really. So we'll be back down in the coming months to do workshops and open days to make sure we get as many people interested as possible. Yeah, we generally do, we do advertise, we'll come down to community centre open days, we'll come down to days such as today. Um, also, we'll, we'll help with um, anything that the job centre has to offer. You know, they've got a lot of candidates ready looking for work and that's, that's the sort of people we'll speak to to find out where the skilled labourers are, where the unskilled people are, but who are looking to improve and get some qualifications.